Hello and how are you? My name is Mohindo Mumbar and I welcome you to our 36th course of creating a complete inventory management system. We always do 40 minutes so I'll go ahead and start our timer or what you can call counter without wasting much time. Let's go straight to today's business. So in the previous lecture, we were able to do the category management, the subcategory management, all the stuff. And now we're going to proceed from there. So let's go from where we are benchmarking from. Uh, here. Yeah, so we are now on what? On the stock items, okay? Stock items. So we don't have create financial period first. We create here some financial period. 2024 submit come here to stock categories stock record and then click on stock records eh? stock items create new so here we are all right so here we are so we're going to create a stock item uh, form so first things first we're going to begin by putting our model so we shall come to our generator and click on new and then this one i'm going to call it stock category i mean sorry is it stock item stock item okay so let's go ahead and uh, do stock item let me come and check the wording that we use on the api stock items stock items subcategory stock item create so i'll come here stock item so i'll come here and call this one so I come to a generator i'm going to call stock item model and then i'm going to call stock stock items this one the table i'm going to use and then i'm going to use this stock item endpoint create it generate there you go so i just come and copy the model name come here and then right click new file and then stop the chat like this I'll go ahead and copy the data and come and paste it here okay so there is some error of which you can fix oh I think there is something that's not right is it in the stock models I mean oh my god this is a wrong project <laughs> sorry about that it's a wrong project okay come and put it here let me come and put it here stock Let's go to our models. Models are here. Come and put here the model of stock item. Yeah, it is here. Stock item model. It is here. No any error. Okay. That's our stock item model. Alright, so after doing that now, let's go ahead and create a list of stock items. A list of stock items. So I'm just going to benchmark from these stock subcategories. Okay, so let's go ahead. Click there. And then come to our screens so click to create another method for st i mean another directory for stock items for stock items that's a directory so i'm just going to copy this stock subcategory because it has like our most updates stock subcategory model i mean uh, list come and paste there stock no no, stock subcategories stock subcategories which is this what stock subcategories screen i'll come and paste it here so it's going to be stock stock what stock items stock items screen stroke stock item stock items screen stock items screen press enter and then i'll go ahead and click on this to go to it and then press ctrl f alt and enter paste it there and then after here yeah okay so now this i'm going to call it so this is our list of stock items make sure that you name this class accordingly and there's this i'm going to call this one stock items like this so now i'm going to put here our stock uh stock stock what stock create screen so it's going to be much more like stock subcategory create screen 
So I'm going to come and pick here stock subcategory create screen. Stock subcategory create screen. I'll come and copy it and then paste it here in this stock item. So I'm going to call it stock item create screen. Stock item create screen. Stock item create screen. I please press enter. Uh -huh. So come and rename this one. So I select this this stock item subcategory press screen. I press Ctrl F, I press Alt and Enter, and then I press there, stock item create screen. So I'll go ahead and change this model. So this model is going to be stock item. The main model here, stock item model, stock item model. So I'll go ahead and copy it. And then I select, I just come and select this stock item model. I press Ctrl F so it can be identify wherever it is put ctrl f i press alt and enter and paste so i can replace it so i've replaced it so everything is fine apart from this thing of measurement so i can remove this measurement because i don't need it i can remove this uh, the order level i don't need it for now okay so what else is crying uh, the status so i can also remove the status so everything is fine. I can just simply comment this status. Do you have something like uh, status when you're creating a stock item? Do you have a radio somewhere? Yeah, so you have a radio. So let us just keep this status. We can just uh, rename it to uh, generate SKU. We shall come and look at you into it, okay? So because you'll need that radio. So everything is fine. Everything is fine stock create screen this one here let me just all right so here we are here we are so that is stock create screen so after doing so i come to stock sub i mean stock items screen stock item screen and then i'm going to remove this one from stock subcategory screen okay and i replace it with what with stock create screen stock create screen now i come and change these items here in the screen over of stock items i come and change this item from stock item model to stock stock um I, okay it is going to be stock item model from i mean from stock subcategory model to stock stock item model like this so like this also stock item model and then come and put here stock items here like everything is not fine everything is not fine i hope you've seen how to duplicate that you can also follow the same steps step by step slowly by slowly until you achieve the same thing now the next thing is now to add it in our what in our menu so come to our menu route our menu route our menu route i mean right here and then come and duplicate it here <coughs> come and duplicate it yeah 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 and then it's going to be stock items like this so stock items there we are so and then i put here stock item screen so when someone clicks here they should be taken to stock item screen so let's go ahead and uh, do what let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and 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 and, and what and uh, check out this okay stock item screen this one here all right so click it there we are stock items click on the plus we have this stock item create screen let's go ahead and rename it stock stock what stock item not stock subcategory should be stock item stock item like this you see now we're on the right screen and everything is fine so we're going to do now stock item screen okay everything is very fine everything is very fine all right now we proceed now we proceed we proceed so now we come here to when you're creating stock uh, so the first thing you have to select the what the subcategory 
okay you have to select the subcategory uh, when you're creating the stock item subcategory so for example let's put here our first category just for testing here are five foodstuffs let's go ahead and create a subcategory such as this foodstuff for example put here drinks maybe some details and then come here and put measuring unit and then it's active yeah so that's it all right so let's come here to to stock items let's create a new stock item select drinks for example in liters uh, again maybe say uh, mango juice can say maybe this uh, milk is that a drink select its picture uh, I can get you some picture okay let us give it that it's maybe can say manual we have already discussed about this whether I want the system to generate for you or the rest we go ahead and put uh, the what the buying price hundred uh, maybe ten thousand selling I mean one thousand uh, one thousand selling price one thousand uh, two hundred original quantity maybe a hundred some details I then go ahead and submit okay so that is I don't okay the whole point here is uh, here it is a what it's a subcategory that you're selecting here stock subcategory all right so now here we're going to begin now we begin we start so the first things first it's going to be a subcategory stock subcategory so let's go ahead and do that so it's going to be uh, we begin by selecting the stock subcategory so we're going to do the same logic like the way we did on the stock uh, when we were selecting the what the stock category if you still remember so this time it's going to be stock subcategory so come here stock stock subcategory text okay so it's done that i'm going to put here so i'm going to put here so i'm going to put here stock subcategory text and then it's going to be a uh, stock subcategory subcategory model okay so it's going to pick we're going to pick from stock sub category screen stock subcategory screen now for it does not allow the picker so let's go ahead and do the picker logic so i just simply come and click on this uh since i already have the logic here so i will not repeat again to explain myself i don't need to repeat myself let me just come here to stock categories so we are accepting a map so i'll come and get this map and copy it and put it on top here remove this guy and then come and put uh, uh, this dot params here this dot params here and i'm putting this dot params so the next thing we're going to come here to our init in this init uh so in the init we're going to put if it's a picker i'll come here to our init state here here and do if it's a picker thing then i come here and put here some boolean okay and then do is pick and make it false so that is it so you see it's picker i make it false and that is it so after doing that now we're going to go to on item select okay i come to on item select this one on 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 what on uh, if is picker i just simply say here on tap if is picker i just simply go ahead and do go back and i return okay get back with results get back and i put result i put the item and i return so it will return to me a subcategory in simple forms in simple way okay so that's how we have implemented that uh, so a lot of things are going to cry so let me come here and do his picker i'm getting a subcategory check if it is not null i put here his picker as just we did the other side so make sure you're picking from sub categories list but I selected and then go ahead put here stock subcategory equals to the 
one and then stock subcategory text Let's go to this and then i update the stock subcategory text with what with the name that have of of subcategory that i've selected so here I can go ahead and say select stock okay select stock subcategory something like that now let's go ahead and fix wherever it is crying for example here uh we come and let's change it to this one okay i think there now everything is fine now everything is fine let's go ahead and select stock subcategory it opens it when you click you see vegetables have been selected click see cereals has been selected all right that is very nice that is very very nice that is very very nice so is this selecting subcategories yes this is subcategories good so we proceed we proceed we proceed we proceed we proceed uh we have finished this one we proceed to the name of an item so name of an item is just going to be similar dot name dot name dot name check if it is okay so i can say maybe stock item name stock items what item name okay stock item name so we shall have stock item name there that is nice all right so after doing so we proceed uh to the image the image shall come to it i hope it's the same everything is the same and uh, now you have come to the sku update sku by yourself or you want to enter it so you come here and put update sku okay so instead of this status i'm going to use this one to generate sku okay so generate sku let's go ahead and see the options that are there we have yes and no okay i hope that's what you have here in our back end since you have access to the back end you can just simply go there okay you can just simply go there okay it's update sku sorry yeah generate sku that's why i have manual or i get this one here generate sku so we have update sku okay this one for updating if you want to update let's be like creating first okay when you're creating generate sku manual and auto so this is the variable that you're using generate sku manual auto so generate sku we can put here generate sku and then the options that we have we have manual manual way and automatic way auto matic way okay and then the question is generate sku bracket batch number generate sku bracket batch number that one here select menu you can select so here when you select menu there is enter batch number or enter the sku select audio the system will generate it so let's put that logic that if you select menu you should allow us to enter the batch number so here we just come and put here set state so you just do set state here so that can update the status the state here the generate sku and do the set state so it can be able to do the update state here and then after doing that then we're going to come here and say if if so we're going to put here um some column okay that's going to have children okay so in these children we're going to have now enter sku num so we're going to have something like that something like this so let me just come and copy this thing of a name okay with its space on top so i'll come and put it here i put the space on top and the name in this column that i just created right now so 
when someone clicked on menu we are selecting we're collecting the sku itself so let's go ahead and collect the sku like this if someone clicks on menu so the question is enter sku bracket batch number so come here and say enter sku bracket batch number so uh should i go ahead and remove maybe this yeah this one is maybe maximum can be like 400 characters uh, so after doing so now you see that uh, this is a simple column with sku so for it is not responsive like when you click auto so i'm going to to get this column and say if the sk is not if sk is not menu you should hide this one so I'm just going to simply come here and in front of column and they put SKU is not is not uh, manual. Okay, if it is not manual, I go ahead in between here I put a uh, sized what sized box like this sized box like that. So if it is not manual, I gen I put a sized box. If it is manual. I go ahead and do it and display uh, the yeah, SKU entry field. All right, so let us see what we've got. So you see, manual. When I say manual, it does what? It does allow me enter SKU or batch number. Okay. If you say uh, it's auto, it does not hide. I mean, it, it does not show. It hides the sku or enter the batch number so that is the point i hope you've seen how i have achieved that make sure that you set state here when this thing changes and you check if it is not manual it should just show this all right so we proceed uh we proceed we proceed we proceed so you finish that uh gallery photos that one we shall leave it for now uh, then we go to the buying price so we got the buying price so buying price buying price uh, buying price buying price where is it buying price SKU, so SKU. Uh, buying price is going to be much more of a name input and then we just change it to uh, to integer so let's go ahead and collect this and then go ahead and put my price so i'll come here and create a new space here like this and then come and put um text form text field i'm going to call this one uh buying buying price buying price come put here buying price and then come and say uh enter just simply put buying price uh yep so i make it required and then i put the input field to be integer i mean this okay keyboard type to be what number all right so can validate this one and say maybe make sure it is a number it is numeric you can all do that so that is it so that is it okay so you have there a buying price okay so you proceed you proceed okay our buying price so if someone clicks here they'll be able to enter the buying price okay Let's say next Alright, so after entering the buying price, the next thing that we're going to do, we are now going to collect the, the selling price. Okay. So I'm just going to duplicate this very guy. I will. Selling price. Okay, so that is our selling uh, price. 
so I make it required and it should be numeric okay so I save okay so we have our selling price there okay after selling price we're going to put the reorder I mean sorry buying price okay the quantity original quantity original quantity that was purchased come on here and duplicate this guy and then go ahead and put uh quantity how do you call it original quantity yes original quantity original quantity we also call this one uh original original quantity that was purchased is going to be numeric there you go so that is original quantity so i think that's it i think they are over so what else do we need i think that's all that's all we need that is all that we need okay that is all that we need that's all that we need that's all that we need that's all that we need i think that is all that we need everything has been incorporated okay so that is nice that is nice what else have we left nothing the description is already there all right let's add our first our first what our first stock item come here select the subcategory enter the name kiwimba rice maybe it should be automatic bank price 5000 i mean 4500 selling price 5000 uh, original quantity maybe 100 kgs 100 kgs uh, some description some details about my rice all right started so doing that select a picture add picture so i can come here and put maybe uh so let me just come and download some rice photo Download image. Okay, so pick from gallery, select the rice, and then submit. Ah, something is not right. Subcategory, eh? Not selected. Not exist. Select subcategory. I have to see how we did subcategory. Maybe something is not right. Okay, sub. My God. Sabu category. Oh, you see the problem, eh? I just said this one to stocks category, not stock subcategory. Stock subcategory. Yeah, that was right. Okay, let's go ahead and add a product. Stock subcategory. Stock item. Kibimba rice. And then man, I mean, it should be automated. Uh, rice price, selling price, uh -huh, quantity, and then some details. And then after I select the image and then submit. Invalid stock subcategory. Stock. Wait, wait. Eh? Man, man, what am I doing? Stock subcategory ID, not stock subcategory text. Here, here, here. Mm -hmm. Get it. Let's select again. The series. Now it should work. Submit. Invalid user. Eh? 
eh why is it saying that invalid user invalid user oh well, let's see where that error is invalid user i've not seen that error invalid user let's try to search for that error but f invalid user okay hey created by is not being submitted eh? created by so let's go ahead and and submit it okay so how can you get created by it means that she needs someone who is logged in okay so so in the init shall have here some init state okay so can just simply say my init so we just simply come and do my init here you get a logged in user Log the user equal to u equals to I want that get logged in user or get user and then you say uh, I can put this logged in user on top here and make it maybe be a default one and then say you equals to that and then i can just from the same widget dot item logged in user equals to you dot id dot to string i can just do there and also when you're submitting so here we we'll do the query that and also when you're submitting you can still update it okay submit here during submit here you can add it to your form like this created by oh, someone who is logged in and i've shown you how you get him i make you submit let's go ahead and submit Invalid user created by hey so because we have not got it yeah so I can just simply again get the user here u equals equals what await dot logged in user dot get okay so now everything should be fine how oh, the error should change uh huh attempt to read ID on null property huh attempt to read id on property null let's see where that is so this is it get financial period sku and then when you finish so let's go back to API controller. Attempt read ID. Is it financial period that is causing a problem? Financial period oh. of course I'm going to change. Let's make sure that you have a right financial period. Financial period is there and it is active. Huh?
submit yes it is okay come to stock items create select category all right so let's write just put here some random things Okay. Submit without a photo. Yeah. Without a photo, it worked. Maybe okay. Maybe we are not. We are not just get the logged in user. Let's try to submit with a photo. It worked. So I can even update. So. Updating is working and creating is working. I think the other thing is just because we had not got the logged in user. So everything is all right. Everything is all correct. Everything is correct. All right. So that's it. That's it. So now we need now to. You can even edit. You can even edit. You can change the thing. So. I'll work on the logic of displaying the category in the next videos. Okay, so what am I remaining with? Four minutes. These four minutes, can we be able to start the stock records management? Creating a stock record. I think we can do it. Let's just do it. And you know that when you're coming the next lecture, we are doing the mastering okay let's go ahead and do the stock record create screen okay so stock records create so it's going to be much more of uh, stock items eh? so i think you can just keep them in the same folder but if you want let's put it in this different folder so i can just simply come here and create a new screen New file, I'm in a new folder, new directory. So it's going to be stock records. Okay, we start from there in the next lecture. We start from there in the next lecture, but you can see how things are getting much more interesting. So, and this is our last module. So, after this module, then we are going to do the mastering of the entire project improving on the ui doing the full finishing and those can take like more three videos and then we call it elect i mean call it a project okay we'll meet in the next lecture and uh, make sure you subscribe to the youtube channel and goodbye